Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate President's Day uh, for all those presidents past that have served us. We also uh, got about four to six inches of snow last night. And I wanted to thank our filming crew who consist of Kurt and our lecturer Al for driving in this morning. Uh, for all those that are viewing, uh, it's a beautiful morning outside but I would advise you to stay inside. Today we're going to hear in our scripture readings division and violence in our world, but also the hope that Christ gives us. And I hope to get that message across in my homily this morning. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all this morning. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and in so doing, prepare ourselves to receive the sacred Eucharist. I confess, O Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The man had relations with his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced a man with the help of the Lord. Next, she bore his brother Abel. Abel became a keeper of flocks, and Cain a tiller of the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought an offering to the Lord from the fruit of the soil, while Abel, for his part, brought one of the best firstlings of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain his, and his offering he did not. Cain greatly resented this, was crestfallen. So the Lord said to Cain, why are you so resentful and crestfallen? If you do well, you can hold up your head. But if not, sit as a demon lurking at the door. His urge is towards you, yet you can be his master. Cain said to his brother, Abel, let us go in the field. When they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord asked Cain, Where is your brother Abel? He answered, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? The Lord then said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the soil. Therefore, you shall be banned from the soil that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. If you till the soil, it shall no longer give you its produce. You shall become a restless wanderer of the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is too great to bear, since you have now banished me from the soil, 
I must avoid your presence. And became a, become a restless wanderer of the earth. Anyone may kill me at sight. Not so, the Lord said to him. If anyone kills Cain, Cain shall be avenged sevenfold. So the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest anyone should kill him at sight. Adam again had relations with his wife, and she gave birth to a son whom she named, she called Seth. God has granted me more offspring in place of Abel, she said, because Cain slew him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Offer to God a, pray, a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. You sit speaking against your brother, against your mother's son, you spread rumors. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself. I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we approach Ash Wednesday in our Lenten journey, we are given some profound scripture readings from Genesis and St. Mark. As we heard the tragic story of Cain and Abel this morning, our first response is, why was the world divided back then? Why so much violence? Then after a minute or so, we have to remind ourselves that the world is still divided, still violent, and we still have times of struggle. So what is our answer this morning? Our times now are somewhat exhausting. Our senses are heightened, and our emotions and feelings come straight from either our ancestral instincts or from the heart. We are being asked today to pay attention to which will we choose? Our instincts of jealousy, 
can be get even attitude or expressions from the heart where Christ acts of forgiveness and his sacrifice on the cross asks for our kinds of forgiveness and our trust in his self-sacrifice for each one of us. Do we know someone who may be acting in a hurtful manner, either towards us or someone else, or even to themselves? God wants us to know that he is loving and a forgiving God. He wants everyone to know that he will even leave behind the 99 to go in search of the one lost sheep. God calls each of us to be his minister of compassion and mercy, even when we are feeling hurt and vulnerable ourselves. That is a tough call. We can begin by reaching out to someone who seems confused or angry, someone who is divided from their family, perhaps, their friends, or their church. We can ask them how they are doing and be sincerely interested in their response. Time and a listening heart can be wonderful healers to those who are suffering. We can offer to help if the person is open, we can ask that we may pray with them. And if we meet resistance, we can always do as Christ did and pray for them. Parents and grandparents get accustomed to praying this way for their children and their grandchildren. God has offered us in our weakness, in our sins, our hurts, the same compassion that he offered Cain. It is the same forgiveness that he offers to every one of us. In Mark's Gospel today, Jesus, fresh from his mission of healing, driving out demons, curing those with incurable diseases like leprosy, offers these signs to those who believe in him as well as those who do not believe. The difference is, those who see and believe come to not only follow and serve as ambassadors of Christ's light, giving gifts, but become heirs to the kingdom of heaven. Our Lenten journey is about to begin. Are we ready? Christ says, yes, we are ready, for I am with you until the ends of the earth. Thank you, Lord. Please join in our prayers to the faithful. For Pope Francis, that he continues to lead the peoples of the world through the acts of kindness, mercy, and forgiveness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and international leaders, that they serve with honesty, equity, and humility, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our utility workers who venture out into the cold, and the dark to restore power, heat to our homes and places of work, that they be safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community of faith, that we prepare for Lent with prayer and the strength to become an ambassador for Christ in our homes and in our church and in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, both near and afar, our friends and the strangers we meet today, and for all those who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with us today and remain with us forever. Amen. As we prepare for communion service this morning in person and in spirit, let us say the words together that our Savior gave to us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. <coughs> Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who come to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that you shall enter my room, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Dear Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to gather around your altar this morning. Where two or three are gathered in your name, you are with us. Please watch over us during this severe weather. Allow those that are traveling to reach their destination safely. And please help us to be ambassadors of Christ as we go forth this morning and through our Lenten journey starting on Wednesday. Grant the Lord, we pray, that we might be like all eternity in the sharing of divine light, which is foreshadowed in the present age by a reception of your precious body and blood, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. And have a good day. Thank you.